What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and we're here on a set of Corsa in a new A90 Supra. So this is a stock A90 Supra. So with the big announcement that Frederick Osbo will be campaigning a new A90 Supra in FD in 2020, I figured why not bring out the A90 here on a set of Corsa in a track that I found that I've actually enjoyed driving on and drifting on. We do just have traction control and everything on just trying to see how this thing grip drives first it is paddle car because if you guys don't know you can't get them in a manual so we are just using it in sequential mode essentially and like i said we do have trash control on that's why we're not sliding we are going to try drifting this stock supra but we have another special supra a90 supra to bring out today and that is a drift version that i've been working on so we're going to cruise this for a few here on this airport drift track I'll leave the link for the car and the uh, track in the description box below. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, which is also found in the description box below. And if you don't have that bell notification tapped or you're not a subscriber, make sure you do that. I would appreciate all the support. Be part of the notification gang. So it is kind of a, a grippy feeling car. I, I do like how it's handling, you know, oh, oh geez, just out of the box. So I think we're going to uh, take trash control off here and uh, see if we can't get it sideways on this stock A90 Supra. Now, the only thing that's going to be weird, there's no clutch. So we're going to take trash control off. I'm going to get my computer. Get my, there we go. I think we had to turn it off, didn't we? Did we turn it off? Now we turned it off. Now we're good. All right, now we're a little bit better. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I feel like this thing may actually be able to slide pretty well. If you guys don't have this car, it is a fun car to have. But we do not have a clutch. It's gonna be a little bit weird. Try pulling the handbrake a little bit. Oh. Power is definitely not there in the stock one. And it's weird not having a clutch. Well, there we go. Get a little bit of slide. Oh, it's bogging. It's so weird trying to drive this car without a clutch. Oh, man. I'm kind of gonna use the brake to get it to rotate, I guess. Oh. oh my drift super is gonna be so much more fun. Oh. Oh, yep, yeah, we're in the dirt. So, for a stock car, it's not terrible, but it could be a lot better. Also, it is, you know, right hand drive. Which you guys know, I do like my left-hand drive cars, being from the U.S. So we're going to try and get a... Oh, no. That's not going to work. <laughs> so let's go check out the Drift Supra. With a little bit of Miracle of Magic, we can just... And we'll be in it. That didn't work. Hold on, let me try it again. We worked that time. So, my A90 Drift Supra... Very poppy, manual, with a clutch, and it's also left-hand drive. We'll take a look more into this car after we rip this thing. Just listen to that thing. <laughs> All the crackles and pops of a BMW engine. Wait, did I say that? <laughs> throw it in. Big thank you to TUS Anthem for the start of the livery icons for the team paint. Kicking to the third, there we go. We do have the smoke generator on, getting my computer settings fully dialed in to run that smoke much nicer and smoother on my game. I found 70 is a very good number. My uh, buddy Dave found that out, so it's more of a realistic 
Number for smoke. Oh, little dirt drop. But we got it. We are just sending it in this car. A bit of a squeaky uh, pedal pedal base. Going to Ford, see if we can't sweep this through. Oh. There we go. So if you guys have never tried one of these Drift Supras, I believe there is uh, two public on an Aussie uh, Assetto Corsa Aussie Land forum. There's two uh, VDC versions out there. But of course, this car has uh, the Evil Rabbit touches in there, the NRG seats, and the Evil Rabbit steering wheel, and stuff like that. Well, there we go. Hammering fourth. Downshift. Oh, shit, stayed in fourth. This car only has about 530 horsepower, but it gets down. Ooh, as I say that, we go fifth it into the dirt. So let's take a look at the car in and outs in the showroom for the car, and then we will take it to another track with this car. Definitely a lot of fun. But I think we need to... Oh, 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 okay, we wrecked my new Supra. We need to take a look at the replay because the car has a little bit of a... Uh, difference in the front that I've been learning how to do and that is change like LEDs and headlights to have like accent lighting and stuff like that so this car does have like bluish teal headlight accents which are kind of cool especially in the mirror of somebody when you're right behind them as you can see them right there the bluish teal headlight accents and that car just looks amazing Usual suspects on the door of a rabbit and energy innovations, like I said, does have the energy innovation stuff inside. Car that I've been working on, having a lot of fun building, and it just looks amazing sliding with that uh, faded grand gradient from blue to black and the chrome stars and everything like that. Definitely going to be making some other liveries for it and probably throwing this car possibly into the public evil rabbit pack that I'm throwing out, unless I decide to use this for VDC or something like that. But, let's go take a look at it so you guys can get a better view of it, and then we'll take it to another track. The car in all its glory, we're going to go to the CM showroom and take a look at it. So, we're going to turn the lights on so you guys can actually see lights on. See, it has the bluish teal lighting, full cage, some nice deep dish chrome wheels, bash bars inside, of course, wow. You've got the Evil Rabbit steering wheel. I don't know why it's blurring. We're gonna we're gonna switch this from that to the nice one. There we go. Evil Rabbit steering wheel, and of course, you know the Evil Rabbit Energy Innovation seat, because you gotta have those custom seats in there. Can you see it? No, no, no. There it is. So A90 Supra, definitely a very fun car to drive. Definitely very different. Took me a little bit getting used to it once I built it. But it does drive amazing. Like I said, uh, T West Anthem throwing fire with the livery design. This is just the start of it. There's other decals that go on it and stuff like that. This was just the base for me to throw on there. So I definitely like the headlight look and the teal headlights. So I'm going to probably adjust them to get them a little light blue color if I can. So let me know, as, know what you guys think of my A90 Super build that I've been working on down in the comment section. So now let's take it somewhere else. Where should we go to? Airport Drift Track, definitely one of my favorite tracks to drive right now. It's a good proving ground, good test ground. So I'm not sure where I want to go. That looks like it could be fun. This track. Okay, DZ Battle 8. I was This track was brought to my attention by one of my buddies, Dave. And it's difficult to get it completely through in one try there's a lot of off camera a lot of elevation changes and stuff like that that make it quite difficult to drive 
So we're gonna take the Supra out. We're gonna just drop it on comp tires, leave everything else how it is. Right, so we're gonna try and get this track done with the elevation changes and everything like that. It's definitely a difficult track. I've been trying in some cars. We're gonna try taking the 89 Supra out and see if we can't get it in one try. Like I said, there's a bunch of elevation changes, walls and everything all around. And as you can see, the car just straightened up because of the elevation change. So we're going to see if we can't complete this in one run. Oh, almost bogged it. Nope. Should have went into third. Should have went into third up this hill. Alright, let's see what we can do. Throw it in, aim towards the wall. Oh, just a little wall tap. Nothing major. There we go. We got it now. I think we're smooth. I think we actually did it. It was a bit shaky. As I said, we hit the wall. It was a bit shaky, but we somewhat completed it. Nope. See? And that second part of that turn always gets me. This is definitely a very difficult trick. Where am I? Oh, 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 we're hopping around. It's definitely a very difficult track to drive. So I challenge you guys to try this track yourself. I will leave the link for this track as well because this one is uh, definitely not easy. And with all the off camera and everything it makes, Steering wheel very twitchy. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it going up. Let's see if we can get this bottom jump section done. Not really jump, but. See, I wish I could link all that, but I'm in the wrong line to link it all. Oh, just a little wall hit. Nothing too, too major. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be down in the description box below. I'm going to go guys know what you think of the A90 Supra and the drift version that I'm currently working on. And if you'd like to see it in a public car pack by me, oh, this version out there for you guys to try and rip yourself because right now, I am the only one that has this car. I haven't fully finished it, so I haven't released it yet. I have a lot of cars that I've been working on trying to make the pack easily drivable and fun to drive. Here we go. Now I finally got it. So now we're going to try and finish this lap. Oh. It's very... It was dirty, but so far we're, so, we're still drifting this whole thing so far. There we go. Alright, we got it. Let's not mess it up. Alright, so we actually completed one full lap here in this course, which was not easy. Oh, I think I'll do it here for this episode. Here on a set of course with the 890 Supra. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.